Today, the FDA approved what's called a biosimilar version of the cancer drug Neupogen. A study estimates biosimilar drugs could save Americans $44 billion over the next 10 years. More now from Dr. John LaPook. 20-year-old Joseph Mangan has an advanced form of a rare cancer called Ewing sarcoma. Following his chemo, he gets injections of Neupogen, a drug that helps bolster his immune system. He's covered under his mother Susan's health insurance, but over the past eight months, the Neupogen alone has still cost them $1,200 out of pocket. Has the cost of the Neupogen been on your mind over the past year? Of course. The Neupogen itself, I know, puts a huge strain on our finances. Neupogen is a biologic, a drug created using living cells, which makes it a more targeted form of treatment than a conventional drug. But what makes it so powerful also makes it hard to copy. Generic versions of conventional drugs are exact duplicates. But generic versions of biologics, called biosimilars, are closely related but not identical. Dr. David Henry is an expert on cancer drugs. If we think of a generic like maybe building a townhouse, Nubigen is like building a skyscraper. It's much more complicated, many more pieces in place. Because biosimilars are not exact matches of the original, some question whether they'll be as safe and effective as their branded predecessors. Dr. Janet Woodcock oversees the approval process at the FDA. We are very confident, and we, if we approve a biosimilar, we are saying we expect this to have the same effects, benefits, and unfortunately side effects as the reference brand drug. Right now, widely used biologic cancer drugs like Avastin and Herceptin can cost as much as $70,000 a year. But Charlie, today's ruling really, really ushers in a new era where these less expensive biosimilars are already in the pipeline. Thanks, John.